everyone, Emmy Lou here. Today I want to show you how to draw a creek wood gecko. So it's a cute, I mean honestly, it's such a cute lizard. I love them. I bought this little statue. I don't know if you can see it, it's so cute. I got it when I visited Australia. So I went to Australia and I saw this guy and I just thought I have to have him. So I bought him and I want to show you how to draw the gecko because it's such a it's such an amazing shape, the gecko, and Tony, Gaudi. So he's called Gaudi, basically, he's known as Gaudi. Um, but he is amazing because I went to Barcelona in Spain a long time ago, and there's um, Gaudi's Cathedral. It's absolutely amazing. I'm gonna show you. It's I couldn't even go in it because the queues were so big, but he was an architect and he was born 1852 and he died in 1926. So he was known for his amazing buildings, really. I wanted to show you why we're doing the gecko in the style of Gaudi. I don't know if you can see, but he had the most amazing patterns. He created the most amazing mosaic. So if you look on the top of the book, all of that mosaic on the top of the building is just amazing, isn't it? Could you imagine how long, how long that would have taken to do? So I'm just gonna flick through. There's this that's come out of the book. <clears throat> it's quite an old book now, but I think it's a lizard in a, a water feature and it's a mosaic, or mosaic. And then I really love the colors. When I went to visit um, Gaudi's house, because there was the cathedral and the house in Barcelona. It was amazing to see all of the different patterns and colours that he used. Can you see the, the tiles? I don't know if that's his house, I can't remember. Um, but I just, it really resonated for me. I really love this, this architect. Okay, so, so we're going to have the paper portrait and we're going to start off with, it's going to be like, an egg shape. So just think egg. It's always an egg. <laughs> well, it's not always an egg, but <laughs> so we're gonna do an egg shape and then you're gonna touch the egg and you're gonna go whoop. Then you're gonna touch the other egg and go ah. <laughs> Then you're going to create the body. So we've got to just go down. So we're gonna touch probably, let's just do there and there. So can you see I've done the two lines and we're just gonna go. So we're just creating the body. We're just, cause it's kind of moving in a really cool way. And then we're gonna go out and out. So now we're trying to create the legs. This is a really lovely, I love geckos. I think because their little feet, they're so cute. They've got little pads almost. So it's not going to be Pointy, we're going to do it rounded. So you're going to go round and stop. Round. So these are his knees. <laughs> Strange to say knees on a lizard, isn't it? Then we're going to do a circle. Can you see where I've put the circle? It's like down here, not over there. And then a circle here. Then we're going to create the legs. So you're going to touch about here, go up. Touch about there, go up. You see what I'm trying to do? It's like I'm trying to create the legs. And then we're gonna do the really fun tail. So we're gonna go like this. Ah. So think of it like a V, because you're gonna do this. So it's almost like you're, it is like you're doing a V. It reminds me of a V sort of coming in to a V shape. And then we're gonna do the curly tail. So we're going to touch there and just go round. Then touch that one. I mean, the tail's quite long on a gecko. And it's quite nice for pattern reasons to do you know, a twirly tail. Right, this are, these are his cute toes. So we're going to go, you see what I'm doing? It's like, Show you what I mean, what I do. It's like it's thin 
and then it comes out as like a circle. If you can't do them like that, you could do this. Just that, and then a round circle. Like that, and then a round circle. If that's easier for you, give that a go. He just, he just looks cute, I think, when you add that. And then you've got the arms. So, you know you've got up here, just go down a bit and do a line. Down a bit, do a line. Exactly like the legs, we're just going to do like that. So we're creating the arms and then exactly the same. We're just going to do circle, circle. And as I say, you do, you do the, um, I've got how to draw them now. <laughs> you know when you draw something a lot, you almost forget how to do it. Okay, so that's roughly what I want, and I quite like him. So using Gaudi as the inspiration, have a look at his work and have a look at how he does the mosaic, because that's what we want to create on the body. So we're going to do an eye, because we can create any eye. It doesn't have to be a real gecko. And I like the idea of doing my own kind of shape. We're going to do some nostrils. I like doing a line. And I go and it kind of makes your eye follow all the way through. And then we could, I'm just making this up. So you have a go at doing, if you've got a favourite shape, I know that um, a circle is my favourite shape. So I, pro I love doing the, the hands, but I like the idea of pretending, if you've got lots of time, you could mosaic this. So you could get lots of different wrapping paper and you could get loads of different card and you could cut it out and you could make, that would be amazing actually, to make the gecko with collage. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna create my own pattern, however I like. I'm gonna do some bobbles. Um, what else could I do? Oh, I like twirls. I think I like twirls quite a lot, don't I? <laughs> curly, it reminds me of a curly whirly, that chocolate bar that's delicious. Okay. Right, so I think, I think I'm kind of done with that. I like the idea. I'm just going to do this dark to show that it's it's not part of the actual design thing. I think what's really nice is if you like hearts or if you like a certain shape, like I said, if you like um, stars or if you like something, just put it on there, it's fine. Now, I'm going to use oil pastels. These are my favorite oil pastels. There's other pastels you can buy, but I love these. They're just, they're brilliant at blending. They, I've used them quite a bit now, so they're looking a little bit, bit, bit old. But what is nice about oil pastel is they're so bright, the colours. So I'm going to take a yellow first because it's always good to do the lightest colour first. And if you want to change colours, it's nice to do lots of things one colour and then swap. Because if I was to do just this bit yellow and then suddenly change and get a green, it takes longer. But if I think, right... There's going to be 10 things which are yellow. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ah, 10. It's just for an example, so it doesn't really matter. And then the color up from that, I would probably say is an orange. And then I think, oh, I'm going to colour seven things orange. Doesn't have to be, you don't have to stick to it. You could say, oh no, I only want to do two things orange. But it's just a good idea to keep the same colour in your hand if you're going to be colouring other things. You can always go back to the other colours if you decide that you don't want to do that colour. Now I'm going to do a nice light green. I like the fact that you can see the swirls because I've chose a light colour so I can still see the swirls. If you choose a dark colour, you might want to go over the swirls with like a white paint or something. So you'd get a white pencil maybe and draw the swirls back in. It's up to you. 
quite like that. It's really nice to have a rainbow effect, I think. I almost forget the um, the um, colours of the rainbow. <laughs> you know, like when you've got the sequence, I always forget what it is. What's really nice is when you take two colours that are similar. So this blue and that blue is really nice, isn't it? So I think I'm going to do this blue and miss a gap. So he's got, it's like he's got pyjamas on, isn't it? <laughs> he's got lovely stripy pyjamas on. Okay. Now we get the other blue. Can you see, like, it's no rush. You don't have to be quick. But it's nice that you don't have to, you don't have to take forever doing this, is what I'm trying to say. It's up to you if you want to take a while, but you don't have to. There are quicker ways of doing it. I've got this really nice colour that's like sand and obviously it's light. So I could have used that first, but I want to use this one now. So I'm going to do all of these little toes. Do you know what? Red would be good, wouldn't it? I love the way oil pastel melts. You can blend it, but you've got to... It's got to be warm your hands or your fingers to blend. I'll show you how to do it in a minute. Whew. Whew. <laughs> okay, so it hurts your hands after a while. So to blend, I'm going to get a red and I'm going to just maybe put a red there. Yeah. A checkerboard. <laughs> then I'm going to get orange. I'm not actually going to blend this bit. I've decided. Right, let's do some blending. Let's show you the blending. So I'm going to get the purple to blend. So I'm going to just colour in the gaps. I won't do all up to the spines. So pretend this is your spine. It hurts your arms quite a lot to do the oil pastel. Whew, but it's worth it, it looks good. It's just because I'm holding it up, isn't it? Okay, now you get another colour, or you could keep it as it is, or get a pink and blend. So blending is just getting your one finger, a bit like when you're using chalk, <clears throat> getting your one finger and blending it in. So say for example, I did pink there. I then get my finger and I want to cover the white so I'm going to blend it's like you're mixing with your finger that's all you're doing if the pastels are good they'll blend really well but if they're not that expensive or they're not that good about 10 pound these pastels but if they're really not very high quality it's harder to blend but you don't need to blend you could use different pastels and just color the whole thing in I like to blend. Pink. I'm amazed at how much because I've held my artwork up. <laughs> it hurts my arm. Yeah, okay, gonna blend again. Blend away. Right, I'm gonna do the whole pink. I like the idea of the, the pink tail. The good thing about oil pastels, you could even have the tip of the tail a different colour, couldn't you? The thing about oil pastels is if you wanted to do a painted background, that would be amazing because oil doesn't go well with water. So if you did oil water, even if you touched over the oil by accident, it wouldn't matter because it would just float over. So it's quite a nice thing to use together, paint and oil pastel. Okay going to blend the head. I really like the idea of a blue. There's three different blues that I've got. I'm going to go over the circles and not worry about them for now. And then I'm going to get a medium blue. Then I'm going to get my light blue. I don't know if you can see but I smudged it there. But it's okay because you can get a rubber and you can rub out a bit of oil pastel when it gets a bit messy. So we're going to smudge. What colour should I do his eyes, do you think? Hmm. I like 
the idea of black? Should we just outline some things in black? So I'm going to outline these little bubbles because it makes it stand out. I'm going to do the eyes. And yours will be a lot neater than this because I can't even reach up there. <laughs> I'm quite small. And then we're going to do that. I like the idea of showing up these lines so if you've done it dark background you can go over with a white pastel on Ooh. so it looks quite cool doesn't it with the black because you would have drawn it with a pencil so if you get a black pastel and go over you don't want to do a felt tip because it will ruin the felt tip but i think going over with black looks really awesome yeah i like that I feel like I should name him. He's gonna be called Frederick. Frederick my gecko. Do you know what? I think I might outline the whole thing. You don't need to, but it looks quite funky, doesn't it? And do you know what's quite nice as well? I think um if you can't see the the hands or the little feet. It's nice to outline them in black as long as you're just going over. Ooh, as long as you're going over the pencil lines. And you're going to do it neater than me, aren't you? Yes, you are. <laughs> okay. Ooh, my tail. Ta da! He looks so sweet, doesn't he? I like his nostrils. So you could use any artist with this gecko. You could have a uh, Klimt or Gus Klimt. You could do a Picasso one. You could do one where you've got all your fingerprints. Uh, you've got little your finger and you do some finger painting, whatever it's, whatever looks amazing. I quite like the idea of getting paint after this and just putting paint there and getting a straw and blowing out. That would look amazing. Uh, what else should we have? I quite like the idea of, I think I did it on this butterfly picture, but there's something about adding dots that for some reason, for me, it just looks quite creative. I don't know, I like it. <laughs> so there we are, there's my gecko. Uh, let me know how you get on with that. Continue sending me the pictures and sign your name and like and subscribe. And I shall, ooh, I shall see you soon. Enjoy. Bye.